here I'm going to discuss what how to connect Microsoft SQL Server with Power Cell. So first you're opening the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the opening SQL Server Management Studio version 19 is still. So there I'm going to connect with the Windows authentication. Click on this connect and this place you can see list of uh, uh, database here and uh, the next is let's open the powershell so powershell 7 is the latest version opening this one and thereafter here you can see this is the directory location now thereafter i already have the code so here directly copying from this place copying from this place and now pasting there paste there and one by one that's coming this places and thereafter the next is here you can see this is the con variable is there new object that's come there so sql connection you need to give then after con that call connection string for a connection and here server you can give your PC name or local host database I've given or this place Adam is the database you can keep your database and trusted connection too because here I'm going to connect with the Windows authentication if you want to connect with the SQL Server authentication then keep the or uh, username and the password and then after connection that should be open then after command and here new object sql data command you need to use so this here on visual studio you can see many times this is the namespace is there or we can say package then after command dot connection con that or calling this con has this values then or this place query query is the var variable and here a select a start from escort.emp so here escort.emp so here you can see this is escort select to thousand so this is all record this or displaying this place and uh, if you want then use here select a star from and you can get the same output this place so that this query there I have given this place power cell or uh, select a star from EMP so Adam over oh, here that's connected with the Adam here this place and Adam inside Adam you can see this uh, or tables are present there so whatever the tables in your SSMS you can keep the same thing this place after that query and here as command that call command text query value or oh, this value is there that go to command text and adapter is now new object and here this is namespace is there you can give and command has this values then after data or new object so this data set that's called and adapted that fill the data so data value is now or uh, that's here this comes and uh, or this data and if i press enter then you can get or uh, this place here or uh, sql server or database tables record this place you can see here so first is now 7369 smith clerk and this all dpt number 20 then after another or row it's displaying 7499 allen this all then after third row one by one this or displaying this places using power cell so with the help of uh, this code you can easily connect with the you can easily connect to SQL Server. The second way is if you want to connect with the uh, here inside SSMS. So right click on this database. Here you can see a star power cell. 
and for this one SQL Server module not found click on this yes and uh, now here you can see Windows PowerShell that's come there install latest version new features improve okay and uh, this place if you paste this all code then you can get this data okay so this is how we can connect to uh, Microsoft SQL Server with PowerShell so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you